Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank to the Almighty God, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. It is because of Him we are all able to attend to this contest. I have one case. A housemate in Jakarta named Suliha almost failed to go home. Suliha got a free ticket, but because she couldn't read, her fortune was for nothing. Suliha was finally able to go home after being helped by her employer's son to find tickets. This Suliha experience represents 3.4 million Indonesians who are still illiterate. But wait, there is another data from a different source, which is actually four times bigger. Hello everyone, my name is Fatin Mohana El Difani. I am from Islamic Boarding School of Al Kalsar Banyuwangi, and here I would like to open your mind about this youth, the spearhead of national literacy. If we open the data, the percentage of illiteracy in Indonesia continues to fall. But in the last five years, the total decline has only been around 1.5%. Although the percentage of illiteracy tends to decrease, the literacy rate in Indonesia is at 74 out of 79 countries. The world's most literate study in 2020 by Central Connecticut University places Indonesia only above Botswana, a country in Southern Africa. And for the lowest ranking, Thailand is only one level above Indonesia. Many people use this ranking as a benchmark for reading interest, when in fact, this ranking is based on various aspects, such as citizens' access to computers, access to newspapers, access to libraries, and the educational system in each country. Then, why is Indonesia's literacy have a low rate? According to Khairul Abdini, a lecturer at the University of Indonesia, there are at least four factors that causes Indonesia's low literacy rate. The first is malnutrition. The second is the quality of education. The third is the educational infrastructure. And the last one is the low interest in reading. According to Khairil, after independence, the obligation to read books no longer existed. This has an effect on the low interest in reading in Indonesia. But there is a solution to increase literacy in Indonesia. One of them is incorporating compulsory reading into the curriculum to increase reading interest. Talking about the low interest in reading, until 2015, there was a tendency increase for television viewers instead of newspaper readers. Newspaper readership in 2015 was the lowest on the record since 1984. Is reading interest in Indonesia really low or difficult to access the books? Lukman Solihin, a researcher from the Ministry of Education and Culture said that there are three things that shows difficult access to books in Indonesia. The first is the numbers of schools libraries that only cover around 60% of the total schools in Indonesia, but only 20% of the libraries are adequate. Even though the government has increased school operational costs from 5% to 20% for, for library development, funds are used up to buy textbooks only. This affects children's interest in reading because children can get bored reading books that don't have a variety. The village library is also no better, only covering 30%. We have already discussed about literacy, but what does literacy actually mean? Lucia Ratikusumadewi, a lecturer at the University of Indonesia, explained about this. Literacy in Indonesia is literacy without having to understand what is read or written. According to Lucia, literacy is not just about being able to read, but how reading can be a learning process that shapes humans to be more critical and useful. So, Indonesia's homework is not only to eliminate illiteracy, but to improve human quality through literacy. Based on what has happened recently regarding the interaction of social media with its users, that social media is capable of sharing all kinds of information, such as writings, audio, and even video. The study star report noted that the most social media users in Indonesia in 2020 came from the age group of 25 until 34 years. It is in their hands that literacy awakening is hoped for. Jenkins in 2009 stated that there are several stages in digital literacy. The first is print cultural literacy. 
with this stage. Teenagers can learn so that they have the ability to read or write in printed media. Teenagers don't need to have a printed books or go to libraries and bookstores because everything has been provided by the internet or applications. Both teenagers can learn so that they have the research abilities. Teenagers can learn and gain knowledge from various sources. So, the conclusion is the impact of digital literacy is very large for teenagers. To increase literacy, teenagers must know their role in social media. As a healthy and productive teenagers, they must have awareness and the ability to access and utilize digital literacy in positive ways so that with information technology, teenagers can deepen their knowledge. Well, that's all my speech. Thank you so much for listening. If you found many mistakes in my speech, please forgive me. I do hope my speech will be useful in our life. Keep reading and fighting. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.